family welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming back my name is victoria and on this channel we'll talk about health lifestyle challenges nursing and a little bit of everything feel free to join my family by clicking on the red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to know whenever i post any new video <laughs> on today's video we'll be talking about lymphatic filariasis which is also known as elephantitis. Now, what is lymphatic filariasis? Lymphatic filariasis is a tropical parasitic disease that affects the lymph nodes and the lymph vessels. Now, what is lymph nodes that they affect, that the parasite affects? Lymph nodes are immune system glands that get enlarged in response to viral or bacterial infection or even stress. And multiple swollen of lymph nodes may indicate cancer. So when you see a swollen lymph node at the neck, at the armpit, at the groin, anywhere in the body, please go and check yourself in the hospital. Go to the hospital and get checked. What are the shape of the lymph nodes? Leaf nodes are kidney or oval shaped and they range in size from 0.1 to 2.5 cm long and they are surrounded by a fibrous capsule. So whenever you hear lymphatic filariasis, it means that the parasite affects the lymph nodes. That's why it's called lymphatic filariasis. Now, what are the causes of lymphatic filariasis? Lymphatic filariasis is caused by a parasite classified as nematode or roundworm of the family Filaroidea. And there are three types of these thread-like filarial worms. There are three types that can cause lymphatic filariasis. Number one is called Wucheria bancrofti. And this Wucheria bancrofti causes 90% of this lymphatic filariasis. Number two is called Brugia melai, and this Brugia melai also causes most of the cases. That's number two. Remember, number one is Wucheria bancrofti, number two is Brugia melai, number three is Brugia thymovi, which also causes the disease. The adult worm stays and multiply in the lymphatic vessels and alter the normal function of the lymphatic system. That's what they do when they enter the system. They stay there, multiply, and alter the normal function of the lymphatic vessels or system. This worm can live in your system up to six to eight years. And during these years, it will multiply and produce millions of microfilaria that will now circulate into your blood. Transmission of lymphatic filariasis to the body. Number one, it starts when mosquitoes infected with microfilera bites you. I want to call you back to my last video. We discussed about malaria. Remember, mosquito infected with plasmodium parasites will bite you and introduce malaria to your system. The same mosquito now will bite you that is infected with microfilera will bite you and the same way you will get lymphatic filariasis. Just the same way they will bite you and give you um, malaria. In the same way, when they are being infected with microfilaria, will bite you and give you elephantitis. That is it. Number two, when the mosquito bites you, they will leave the parasite on your skin. And from your skin, the parasite will now find its way into your system. That's what they do. When the mosquito infected with microfilaria bites you, they will introduce the, 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 the microfilera into your skin. And from your skin, it will find its way into your body, into your system. That's number two. The microfilera will now migrate into the lymphatic vessels, where they will now develop into adult worms and continue to circulate into your blood and grow. Note, the lymphatic filariasis is being transmitted by different types of mosquitoes. And there are three types of mosquitoes that can transmit lymphatic filariasis to your body. Number one is called Culex mosquitoes. Number two is called Anopheles mosquitoes. Remember the same Anopheles mosquito, female mosquito that transmits uh, plasmodium parasite to your system is the same mosquito here now, lymphatic, that will also give you lymphatic filariasis 
that's number two we have mentioned number two number three we have Aedes mosquito now we have three mosquitoes i've said it before coolest mosquitoes anopheles mosquitoes and Aedes mosquitoes these three mosquitoes they are the one involved in transmitting microfilera to your system and they will grow and multiply and you know attack the leaf node then results to you having lymphatic filariasis. What are the symptoms of lymphatic filariasis? Number one, asymptomatic, meaning it does not show any symptom because it stays here for years. It doesn't show symptoms, that's number one. Number two, it can be acute, meaning that it comes sudden. You can just react to it suddenly. Number three is chronic, meaning that it comes and go. You can, you know, after treatment, it comes, go, you know, it's something that's has stayed long. That's what we, what we mean by chronic. And when we say acute, it means that it comes sudden. And when we say asymptomatic, it means that it doesn't show any sign at all. Mostly, the symptom is asymptomatic. It doesn't show any symptom at all. You may just see it like that because it is not be today it starts for system. It has been multiplying there for years. So you can just see it like this pack. That is what we see mostly. As it's showing no symptoms, the parasite is circulating, causing damage to the lymphatic system, kidney, and also alter the immune system. That's what they do. You know when you have altered immune system, that means you, you won't be able to fight any diseases coming in. Your, your chances of fighting any infection is low. And when the lymphatic filariasis has entered chronic, it will now develop to lymphoedema. That's tissue swelling or elephantitis. Prevention of lymphatic filariasis. How can we prevent lymphatic filariasis? Number one, avoid mosquito bites. This is the this is the most prevention of lymphatic filariasis because both the coolest mosquito, Aedes mosquito, Anopheles mosquito that will bite you. You will not catch the mosquito to check. Ah, is this mosquito having lymphatic filariasis on its system? That, that will, you know, transmit to my body. So the best way, the best thing you can do to yourself is to avoid mosquito bites. Number two, sleep under mosquito nets. Number three, eliminate mosquito breeding areas, such as water basin, whether inside or outside the house. Eliminate it. Throw away your water. Contaminated water will be in your house or in your frontage for years. You're keeping it there. Use it and wash, drink it, throw it away, please throw it because mosquitoes will just be breeding in that particular spot. Number four, ensure that your window screen doesn't have any holes that mosquito or insect can penetrate. Cover them and do obioma, you can do it hold -hold. anywhere if you have um, a place that is open, use your needle, just sew that place, sew it very well so that mosquito will not penetrate from there. Number five, make use of your insecticide. Fleet. Fleet your room. Now, tips for lymphatic filariasis patients. There are some tips they need to adhere to in order to help them in curing the disease. Number one, they should exercise those swollen arms. Let them not just sit one place. I normally see people anytime I pass, maybe I'm under the bridge, people suffering from elephantitis. You will just see them sitting in one place begging and maybe at night somebody will come and take them home. I see them always. They should exercise those swollen arms and legs. They should always exercise them. Exercise it, not sitting in one place. Number two, he or she should keep the infected part clean. Those, those swollen arms, those swollen legs should be clean. If you keep it so dirty, you know, you are calling for infection, which will even aggravate the leg. It will not go because it's been infected every blessed day, which is very, very wrong. Those infected areas should be kept clean. Treatment for lymphatic filariasis. Please visit hospital. I beg you, visit hospital. All swollen legs is not upper about shoe or oturi from the village. Please visit hospital and seek for help. Stop sitting under the mango tree, under one place and be begging. I know we all need a way of surviving. I, I, I actually weak for my country sometimes, but help yourself. Help yourself because 
nobody is going to help you. There is a way you can still help yourself and, and still beg. Most of the time, self, they would even collect this money. They don't visit. They don't, after begging, begging, that person will just go home and eat, waiting for maybe when you will now, you know, keep the pockets, which is not supposed to be. So you still have a chance to survive. There is still something that can be done. Your own life has not finished. For the fact that you have lymphatic filariasis, it doesn't mean that oh, the world has ended. No. Seek for help and you will find one. Don't go to a place where they will now use razor to design the leg and you will scratch. In fact, sometimes when you even see some of them, they have already scratched the leg with all, all kind of manner of razor and apply one thing on top, which will still not work. So please, visit hospital and get help. Thank you so much for being part of my channel today. If you find this uh, video useful, give me thumbs up and at the same time subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to know whenever I post any new video. And at the same time, drop your comment on the comment box if you have any suggestion, if you have anything to want to add to it, anything at all. If you have anything that you also want me to talk about, please drop it on the comment box and let us discuss together. To my returning subscribers, I say a big thank you to you guys. You guys are the reason I find I find strength to do more. Even when I want to quit because of, you know, losing subscribers and all the rest, I still find hope in you guys because you guys support me a lot. Thank you so much. And to you that is just passing by, please don't leave without subscribing. Hit the red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> See you on my next video. Bye, bye, bye-bye.